welcome back to Sporns Bro. In this video, I'm going to share a trick that will help you make thicker mushroom liquid culture syringes. Sometimes with certain mushroom species like lion's mane, the mycelium will only grow halfway through the jar, leaving a lot of extra liquid that will make it difficult to make thick liquid culture syringes. So because of that, I have started using a 60 milliliter sterilized syringe to remove around 200 milliliters of the excess liquid. I attach a sterile needle to the syringe and insert it into the injection port, and then I tilt the jar making sure not to disturb the mycelium. The mycelium will stay at the bottom of the jar while I extract the extra liquid from the top. These heavy duty 60 milliliter syringes are hard to pull back, but it definitely beats extracting 10 milliliters at a time. I usually only do 3 to 4 pulls, taking about 200 to 300 milliliters out of the jar, and it only takes me a few minutes. You can leave the needle in the injection port and just twist off the syringe when you're discarding the extra liquid. Each time being careful not to move the jar around too much so that I don't disturb the mycelium at the bottom. This part definitely had me wondering if there's some type of machine that could help me pull back the plunger automatically. I usually only do this with lion's mane because most other species, especially oyster mushrooms, will grow throughout the whole jar. Doing this has saved me a lot of time because with all that extra liquid, I'd usually be twirling the jar waiting for the clouds of mycelium to pass by the needle and hopefully sucking up most of the mycelium without a lot of liquid. Because once you start twirling the jar the mycelium strands break apart from each other and then you're just collecting little strands with a lot of liquid so you'd have to wait for the mycelium to settle to the bottom and then slightly twirl it and wait for that cloud or clump of mycelium to pass by the needle. And it usually takes a long time for the mycelium to settle to the bottom, so you'd just be sitting there waiting for that. You can see how much liquid I extracted compared to the original jar which has just enough liquid to make sure that the syringes are generously full. After removing all of the extra liquid, you can leave the needle in the injection port and start extracting the mycelium with normal sized syringes. Now it will be much easier to make sure every syringe is almost completely full. To do this, you don't need a laminar flow hood, a still air box, or anything fancy because you're not opening the lid and dumping out the liquid. You're just using the injection port and a sterilized needle and syringe. Just make sure to wear a mask, wipe everything down with isopropyl alcohol, and wear some gloves. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helps you if you are having trouble making thick syringes. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below or you can join the new Discord community which I'll leave a link for in the description.